Hey guys, welcome to Study Scoopers again. So today me Study Scooper is back with another video and before we start our video please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you are always notified with my new videos. So let's begin and again Study Scooper is back with Scooper Boom. Okay? And today we will be discussing something new and now let's start, okay? Without wasting our time. So this is what we are able to see. We are able to see many things which is rolling. What is this? This is our solar system. And the middle one which you could see is sun. And these are the eight planets which revolve to the sun. We will be discussing if you are not able to understand right now. Because that is why we are here today. So let's begin it. First let's go with some important terms of it. First, let's know what a solar system. Our solar system consists of stars, the sun and everything bounded it to by the gravity. And what is a planet? A planet is any object in orbit around the sun. Thus, shape is stable due to its own gravity. And it must be enough that the gravity cleared away any objects of a similar size near its orbit okay so now let's know with some terms of it star a star you know what is star right a star is a huge ball actually it's a very big ball of very hot gases okay and it gives up a lot of light and heat some stars have planet orbiting around them but not all do so every night we are able to see something shining upon the sky so what are those they are stars but then we see them so small but actually they are so huge with many hot gases okay and next we have the moon we all know what is moon it is what we are able to see every night a circular object so let's know it a moon is a smaller object orbiting a planet some planet have many moons okay so even earth have a moon we'll discuss about it and then we have asteroids asteroids are body of rock and ice in space millions of uh, asteroid orbits around the sun okay and then we have a comet a comet is a body of ice okay dust and bits of rock that passes through living space a tail of ice and dust behind it so the shining thing which you could see is a body of ice which consists of some dust and some bits of rock and the uh, line like which is like going on that is you can name it as a tail of ice which is dusting behind the thing so this is picture of a comet Next, we have a galaxy is where everything is. So, let's know it. A large group of stars all orbiting a central point. And the central point is what you could see the whitest part. And the whole thing is orbiting around this central point. And this is the galaxy. And then we have a light here. A distance that light travels in one year. Okay, so now you have uh, eight planets in our solar system. So let's know about those eight planets in our solar system. So we are classifying it into the first type, which is the terrestrial planet region, which consists of all rocky planets. And those are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Budh, Shukra, Prithvi, Mangal. And you have some gaseous planets which are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Uh, so, uh, Brishpati, Sunny, Arun, Varun. Okay, so then you have some the facts. Let's know with some facts. Let's just boost our mind with some facts about these planets the first one is the mercury which is known as birth so the smallest and the fastest planet mercury is the closest planet to the sun and wipes around it every 88 earth days mercury's size is about a third of the moon and it has no moon okay and this is the smallest planet in our solar system okay so, uh, the main thing which is here, it is the smallest planet and it's the fastest.
fastest planet okay and this is a picture of a mercury next comes the venus okay and venus in a uh, spinning in a opposite direction to most planets venus is the hottest planet and one of the brightest objects in the sky the average temperature is 460 degree celsius it has it also has no moon and this planet is also called as morning and evening star okay and this is a picture of a venus Next what do we have we have earth where we live a place we call home okay and earth is a third rock from the sun the third planet or rock from the sun and the only planet with known life on it okay we all the we all people stay on earth okay so earth uh, it is the only planet which is known that there is life on it and the earth has one moon and it is also this earth is also called as a blue planet why is it so because it is full of water right so this earth is also known as a blue planet so this is the picture of our earth next we have the mars the red planet is dusty cold world with a thin atmosphere it has two moons and the second smallest planet after mercury so first smallest planet is mercury and second is the mars and this is the picture of a mars you can see it is fully red so this mars is called as a red planet too next we have the jupiter okay and jupiter is the massive planet twice the size of all other planets combined and has a centuries old storms that is bigger than earth jupiter is the heaviest planet so jupiter is the largest and the biggest planet in our solar system and that is the picture of a jupiter and next you have saturn the most recognizable planet with a system of icy rings okay and saturn is the very unique and interesting planet saturn is the second biggest planet but it also is the lightest planet and it has large largest number of moons okay and so the first biggest planet is the jupiter second is the saturn and saturn have some icy rings within okay you could see right there is a very big ring ring even uh, inside that you are able to see a planet okay and this is what is saturn next you have the uranus uranus is a very unique rotation it sp- it spins on its side at an almost 90 degree angle unlike another other planets coldest is the uranus which is minus 220 degree celsius and it has 27 moons okay and the last planet which is neptune neptune is now the most distant planet and is the coldest and the dark world nearly 3 million miles from the sun and it has 14 moons neptune is also known as a sleeping planet why is that so because we have learned it it's a very dark world am i right so this neptune is that is why known as a sleeping planet now you have known about the eight planets in our solar system let's know their degrees so you could see our earth and you know there is a special thing uh, that which we learned in uranus that the uranus is only planet which rotates at 90 degree you could see all other planets it rotates at some angles right uh, the one is diagonally facing and all and all but the uranus when you see it is the only planet which is rotating at 90 90 degree okay now let's move on and you have some dwarf planets with you and what are those dwarf planets it is uh, a essential se- se- body resembling a small planet and it may not cleared away any of this near to its orbit maybe uh, due to its weak gravity so you know uh, uh, you can't see any thing clearly from these 
planets the draft planets that is why it is known as a draft planets okay and this is because of its it may be it may be because of its a uh, weak gravity they have okay and in that you have uh, planets draft planets as ceres pluto uh, haumenia mekamek eris and so these were the draft planets and the five draft planets so the ceres it's the largest object in the asteroid belt but was reclassified a draft planet in 2006 even through its 14 times smaller than pluto it for it's found in between the mars and the jupiter okay and uh, next you have the pluto you know pluto was actually the ninth planet in our solar system now we only have eight but then before we had uh, nine planets in our solar system till 2006 and it is smaller than earth and pluto was a planet up to until 6 uh, uh, 2006 and it has five of its own moons okay and then you have haumea uh, and it lives in a Cu- uh, cooper belt and uh, it is about the same size as pluto and it spins very fast with dissolved its shape making it look like a football okay and the fourth planet is mekamek it is also in cooper belt a belt mekamek is the second brightest object in the belt behind pluto and make a make and eris the next plan- draft planet are the reasons pluto is no longer a planet okay and so the last is eris eris is uh, the same size as pluto but three times farther from the sun it is so far away we don't know how much uh, about its extremely cold and remote draft planet Okay, so we have gone with that eight planets in our solar system and five dwarf planets. Now let's see these all the planets in our solar system with a clear look. So Sun is the first thing, and the second is Mercury, the first planet. Then Venus comes, then Earth, and beside the Earth you could see a small thing which is the Moon. So Earth has one Moon. We have learned it in the definition of Earth. Next we have the Mars and you could see that we have talked that Ceres comes between the planet of Mars and Jupiter so you will be able to see um somewhere far away from the Mars you will be able to see Ceres uh, i am sure you will be able to see and then just after that you have the asteroid belt okay and uh, it is a draft planet why do, uh, why are these uh, the draft planet because they are not able to see a clear object from these planets okay and then you have the asteroid belt you have jupiter the next planet after mars and then you have saturn then you have uranus and then you have neptune and we had a ninth planet but not now we had a ninth planet which was pluto okay and uh, the cuper belt objects uh, it is these are and the comet you could just see down of saturn there are comets what are comets i see uh i see with dust and rock particles and a tail type thing which is a comet i uh, hope you all understood this and it is pluto make a make and all other draft planets so five draft planets over here okay and then what do we have here um and we learned about these all in detail in our last slides if you are not still sure about it you could just go back and just read them once again so that it will make you clear about it and now our chapter is done of solar system and if you like this video don't forget to hit a like and if you are still new to our channel make sure that you do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you keep on getting the updates of our very interesting and new videos and until that just keep on watching study scoopers